Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to share how to make a fall inspired cheese board today um, and show you everything that I got. And then some things were out of stock and it's just gonna be a small cheese board. Um, so I, could, I didn't wanna buy like everything that I had on that list, which will be in a blog post, which I will link below. Um, just because like I, I wouldn't be able to eat it all by myself. So we'll start with the cheeses. Um, I don't eat cheese, but um, for the other people that do, <laughs> I got the unexpected cheddar. Um, this is apparently one of the best cheeses at Trader Joe's. And then the fine herb goat cheese log. Um, so both of those. And then for me, I went to Whole Foods really quick and picked up my two favorite dairy-free uh, cheeses. And it's the Mikos, Miyakos Creamery Fresh Mozzarella. And it's just this wheel like this. And it's creamy and it basically, it doesn't really even have like a taste. It kind of reminds me of cream cheese, honestly. Um, so I got this for me and then this is like gonna act as my cheddar um, for a hard cheese. And it's the Chow Creamy Original Slices. Um, and it just looks like this. This one's really good. Both of these I have put on dairy-free cheese boards and it, none of the guests at the party knew that they were dairy-free. Um, and they were like true dairy lovers and they both loved these. So, got those. And then for the meats, I got this Italian dry salami and then I have a turkey summer sausage in the fridge. Um, I'll get that really quick just to show you what it looks like. So if you do go to Trader Joe's, you know what to look for. So this is what it looks like. The turkey summer sausage. And this is so good. So I got both of those for meats. Again, it's just like for this cheese board is a small one for two people. Um, and then for crackers, I just got the plain water crackers and these fig and olive crisps. I've never tried these before, but they sounded good. So we'll try them right here. If I can get them open. They smell really good. Those are really good. Like really good. Um, one honey crisp apple. I got the pepita salsa from Trader Joe's for something salty. Um, these are not for the cheese board, but I got them <laughs> to try. And um, I tried one and it does, it, they're yogurt covered, so I tried one and they are really good. So if you can eat dairy, highly recommend. Okay. The next thing I got was some dried apricots and some dried cherries. And then I also got the Marcona almonds with uh, rosemary. I've never tried these. We'll do a little taste test. Um, obviously really messy. Oh wait, those are really good. Mm. Those are very good. And then I also got these. Um, And these have been some of my favorites, the dry roasted maple almonds. I picked these up last week. That's why they were already in my pantry. But there we go. They're really good. Mm. They're not too mapley and they don't have a coating on it. And they're really delicious. 
Okay. Then I also got this pumpkin beer. Pumpkin ale. I've never tried it before. And they need a, a bottle opener. So I won't be able to open that until I get a bottle opener. Um, but this is everything I got for the cheese board. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together. So stay tuned. <laughs> 